you just never know what's going to happen in a day and that's what I love the best about boating, I just don't know what's going to happen. Good morning everyone, I'm just doing my engine checks before I set off today, checking my oil double dip and I'm going to be traveling with Nikki today which will be good fun it's always fun when you're traveling with mates it really is <laughs> yes yeah, so that looks all right so let's give it a start <laughs> Bonnie's in prime position on the roof. I'm just doing a bit reversing because I don't want to hit that little sunken boat in front. It's enough that for me to get stuck on it. So we're currently scooting the outskirts of Nuneaton. I'm not a big fan of towns, but this town, it's got its name, Nuneaton, because originally it had a nunnery here in the 12th century. So I get the nun bit, but I don't get the eaten bit. Be rude. Yeah, so Nuneaton. And at least beyond the canals, there's bits where it hides the buildings and stuff, because you've got the trees and bushes. Yeah, but none eaten everyone, so I wonder how it got its full name. So we're just going through here now and it, this is tighter than a nun's chuff. Yeah, <laughs> on the subject of nuns, of course. So I just had to moor up here and stop and let Nikki go ahead. I have messaged her, but I'll catch up with her tomorrow or something. We'll catch up. That's what it's like on the canals. But I had to stop here because this place here in Mansetta, a massive battle happened here in AD 59, AD 60, around that time where the amazing warrior legend, Queen Boadicea, led the English against the Romans. And some say she lost her life here. Wow, and all in this beautiful, gorgeous location. So back to this amazing Queen Boadicea, or Boudica, some people call her, Baudica. It's got all different names, but it's that sort of name. It depends if you use the Latin version, the Roman version, the British version. But she was a legend. That's all that matters. She was an absolute legend. She led all these people into battle. Apparently she had an amazing chariot and horses. And I just think it's just ace that a woman back then was so strong and fierce. Yeah, fantastic. And after reading a little bit about her, some people say that she actually died leading the British against the Roman army. Others say she died of her wounds shortly after or of infection. And other people say it was suicide. And we'll never know, will we? We'll never know. But I just think it's amazing that through history and documentation that we know about this amazing strong woman and I am moored now here where they think this battle took place yeah and it's something to do with the way the hills are because the battles fought on the different hills and the valleys and yeah just brilliant I'm here I'm stood on it I got all sort of weird on these places I had the urge to make a cup of green tea but I didn't have any so I had a rum instead and decided to stay the night here Good afternoon. I was setting off this morning and I ended up chatting with the lady on the narrowboat in front. She's an absolutely amazing lady. She's an electrician and she also, she bought the boat as a shell. She's fitted her own electric engine and she's also fitting the whole boat out herself from insulating, fitting the ward, the kitchen, the bathroom. She's doing all that and I thought, she's just amazing. I can't even hammer a screw in right. Eee! 
But we're going to set off now. I'm hoping it's not going to rain and I'm going to try and do a few locks and try and catch up with Nikki over the next couple of days. And we're off. Yeah, the best thing I love about being on the canals is all these amazing people that you meet. Yeah, I mean, it's the odd twat, don't get me wrong. But most of them are just lovely people. And the fact that she's fitting out a whole boat from scratch, I just think that's amazing. I really do. I'm in awe. Yeah, because my skills like that are just non-existent. So I've got the Atherston locks coming up very shortly and there's 11 in total. So I'm not sure how many I'm going to do today. I'll do as many as I can till I've had enough. And then I'll moor up. But I do quite like this lock flight and there's some bins and water at the top and I need to empty my rubbish. I'm alright for water at the moment, but I do need to empty my rubbish. And I've got about six poo bags on the roof of Bonnie's. So I need to get rid of them. Because where I've been moored in the middle of nowhere, there's been no poo bins. But she's in the boat at the moment. Yeah, because I'm doing locks, I can't have her on the roof with me. So she's in there, but she's nice and warm. And it's pretty freezing out here today. Ooh. Should have put a jumper on. I've got my nipple warmer on. I'm one of your subscribers. Oh, thank you. Excellent. Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you so much. So the first lock has got volunteers on, so they open the gates for me. And then there's a boat coming out of the other lock, which means I can leave these gates open and go straight into the next, which is perfect. Hello. They're a little bit stiff, these locks, I've noticed. So I'm going to get the old ratchet windlass out for the next few. So thanks for sending me that, Jeff. Really helps. Say, I've been quite lucky on these locks because each one I'm going into there's one coming out of so I don't have to moor up go and set the gates and all that malarkey yeah so not so much faffing at the moment which is great and this lock now I'm coming up to there's a boat there coming up as well so <laughs> this is a joy it's a single hander things like this are an absolute joy and talking of joy look at the name of that boat Fabulous. So when there's nothing waiting to come up and I need to shut the lock gates, I often pull my boat through by hand and it makes it much easier and then I can get onto it down at these bottom steps. That saves me climbing down a ladder, cruising the boat, stopping the boat and faffing about.
So I've just moored up here, halfway down the flight pretty much, I've done five locks. And I'm gonna go now, nip to Aldi, stock up on all my supplies, and then tomorrow I'll continue and meet up with Nikki. Yeah. Because I'm going to the shop, I need me granny trolley. <laughs> Good morning everyone, I'm just setting off now to meet up with Nikki and I've just met this lady here and she wants to see how the Lockmaster windlass works. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a demonstration. So as you can see, I'm showing the windlass in its ratchet mode. So I was busy demonstrating that. I'm going to try and demonstrate it a bit more to you guys if I haven't got any people on the locks because I can't get my cameras out and start faffing on the locks when there's people waiting. So it's looking like no one's coming up on this lock here so hopefully I'll get the opportunity to show you a little bit more of this ratchet windlass. So if you find it stiff, you can use it as a ratchet like that, or you can just spin it round like a normal windlass. So it's fantastic on those stiff ones. So what I've found is just between the two paddles. So one paddle, it'll be in that position, and the next paddle, it'll be in that position. And that's all you're doing. Once you've got the handle in the right way and you want to use it as a ratchet, but you don't have to use it as a ratchet, you can just use it as a normal windlass. I keep turning it. Be easy. There's a boat behind, so I'm going to try now to get through these locks as fast as I can. Not rushing, safety and all that, but I don't want to hold people up by me demonstrating this anymore. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to crack on now. Rolo, oh, I wish we Bonnie's inside. Oh, no. I'm doing locks. So this lovely lady is Lucy, and Lucy's gonna help me down this lock. She's got a gorgeous little Frenchie called Rolo, but he's not allowed on the locks yet. She's only just gone, it's one, isn't he? Yeah. One, beautiful little Frenchie. So Lucy's a single-handed boater, I'm a single-handed boater, and there's a lady behind single-handing her boat. So three single-handers in this area. But I'm going to crack on and then we're going to go back and help this lady as well. Yeah, it's because uh, Lucy's helping me. It's only right, we all help each other. Girl power, girls look out for each other. They really do. Thanks, Lucy. Have, have a fabulous trip wherever you end up. Yeah. Smiling, goodbye. So it's so amazing then meeting Lucy and also the lady behind, she's single-handed. And it's something nice about that, you three single-handers together, very spontaneous, because you don't see really that many women single-handers in a group together. So that was lovely that. I've got me a dose of women, womanhood, womaninity, femininity, whatever it is, I don't know. Being a bit of girl company. So my mate Nikki now has come up and gonna help me with these last two locks. Because Nikki's going to do this last lock for me, I've got my little girl out! Woo! More lock practice for you, Bonnie. If you are new to the channel, Bonnie's my little rescue dog. I've had her four months now and I'm just trying to get her used to boat life.
that's the last lock done of the Atherston flight, so I'm just going to moor up here so we can help the lady behind down the locks. Just had another absolute nightmare. I was mooring up and my camera's falling in. Around here, I've just been trying with the magnet to get it out and I can. So I might have to go in and it's cold. I'm using my powerful magnet that I got from the Martineers magnet fishes. Yeah, so fingers crossed. Look, it was that. I just thought before I got myself in the water, I thought, I'll just give it one last try and found it. Oh my God, bloody cameras, they're a stress. Oh, anyway, moored up. I'm just gonna go now help this lady up the locks and yeah, and then I think it's gonna be rum time. It was meant to be meeting Nikki for a coffee, but it's gonna be rum. It's got to be. Come here, bunny. Oh, so good. So good. So it's good to help this lady down the locks because it's chance for Bonnie to be out on the locks with me around all the water. Yeah, she's got a big harness on that I can grab her with and she's still on a lead, so she'll be fine. Good. So just coming to Nicky's, we've had a brew. We've not touched the alcohol because we're thinking of cracking on now. And uh, I've lost my dog. Nicky's going to keep my dog, she, she says. says. <laughs> yes. Better life. Yeah. So we're going to crack on now and try and go a bit further. We may do some more locks, we may not. But I'll tell you what, as soon as we more up today, we are going to be on the run. So we're back on the move again. Oh, and you know what? I love traveling with friends. It just makes everything just a little bit happier. It's great. Yeah, so we're gonna try and crack on now because we've looked at the weather for the next couple of days and it's horrendous. We've got strong winds and loads of rain. So we wanna try and get as far as we can whilst it's good weather like this. So this is Carol and Rosie, and Rosie, she's had meningitis, a little doggy there, bless her. And we've just been, they, they weren't getting on at first, Bonnie was barking like mad, but now by giving Bonnie treats when she's good and calm, she's been brilliant. So they're all right now, aren't they? Yeah, they're Yeah, good girl, Bonnie. Come on, girl. And Rosie's doing a poo on camera. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous little boat we're coming up to now. I just think it's gorgeous. I love your boat. It's so bright, quirky and wonderful. I just love that boat. And from the outside, he's selling stuff all whittled like wooden spoons and little quirky stuff. Oh, I love it. I do love all these like wonderful things to see. And every day when I set off on these videos, I never know what's going to happen. I don't plan anything. I just set off cruising and sometimes I meet amazing, wonderful people like I've met today. I see quirky little things. Sometimes it goes to shit, <laughs> you know, when I bloody have to jump in the canal to rescue cameras. You just never know what's going to happen in a day. And that's what I love the best about boating. I just don't know what's going to happen. But that little boat there, just beautiful. Love it. And it looks now like we're coming into more because I've just spotted Nikki's boat. So that's us done for today. So we'll be on the run very shortly.
So we just timed the mooring up spot on because as I was tying up my ropes, it started to rain. Nikki's just locking up her boat now. She's going to come along. We're going to have a little bit of a rum and it's a bit of a special rum. I'll show it to you. So it's Aldi's own coffee rum. So you know me, Nikki, we like the Kraken coffee rum and we like the Dead Man's Fingers coffee rum. So we're going to go now and give this Aldi, which is a cheap supermarket for those that aren't in the UK, Aldi's version a try. Woohoo! So Nikki's got a little bit of the Kraken coffee rum left and then we've got this Aldi one here. So what we're going to do is a little bit of a taste test. So first we're going to try Aldi's coffee rum, see what that's like, and then we'll finish it off with the rest of the Kraken. So you've not seen these shot glasses before, have oh, you? It's a beautiful pair you have, madam. Yes, they're a lovely pair. Let's, uh, <laughs> so this is the Aldi one. Tits to you. Oh, that's a good tit to tit. Nipple there rub. Go. I can't, I can't. <laughs> I can't say nipple rub on YouTube. Cheers. <laughs> little tit of rum. That's, it's not far off. Hey, it's all that's, right, isn't it? Yeah. For the, yeah. It's all right. So we like that one. That's a nice one. Connoisseurs of rum that we are. So, yeah, it is nice. Still coffee. -y. Definitely oh, got coffee. And here. it's got the burn. Yeah. All right, let's let's yam this now and try the cracker. Yam. Right. Let me pour this one. And whilst I am pouring this one, just a massive shout out to this week's pirate crew. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's another nipple rub. <laughs> Woo! Right. The Kraken, I think that's still yeah, nicer, the Kraken. It's smoother. It is smoother. But gorgeous, both just as gorgeous. So yeah, give that a try. If you're going round an Aldi, if you're in the UK, um, cause it's only, I think it's about 16 pound. I got it from the Aldi at Atherston. Yeah. The Casario roast coffee rum, definitely worth a try. One of the things worth mentioning is that Kraken is about 25 pound a bottle. 25, 26. Yep. But the Casario Aldi's roast coffee rum is only 16 pound. So that's like a 10 pound difference. So yeah, so it's worth it for the 10 pound difference. Cheers. So Nikki's gone now and I've got loads of badge orders to make up. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. I won't be taking you in the rear entrance again this week because it's just too long. Yeah, so if you have enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. It really helps. Subscribe down below. But anyway, before I go, just a massive thank you and a huge shout out to all my patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. Anyway, that's it, guys. So please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next week. So Nikki had a little bit of Kraken coffee rum left, so we're going to do a bit of a taste test. So first we're going to try this Aldi rum coffee with a... So Nikki had a... So Nikki's got a little...